J.D. Vance's remarks touch on issues that impact daily life, such as inflation, public safety, and family welfare. By highlighting the stark contrast between the glamorous lives of wealthy celebrities and the struggles of ordinary Americans, he taps into emotions like frustration, anger, and a desire for fairness. Vance resonates with those who feel neglected by political and cultural elites, framing the conversation around tangible economic and social problems. I, I mean, I think there are a lot of issues that have been talked about lately that don't really matter all that much. Um, we, you know, we can guess what some of them are. Um, but it was interesting last night that Taylor Swift gave her endorsement of Harris and and Waltz um, right after. She has 283 million followers on Instagram. And I'm sure that someone brought to your attention that she signed it, childless cat lady. This is a phrase that you are going to hear in your, in your uh, dreams and your nightmares probably for many years to come. How do you speak to women voters um, who obviously they uh, they care about what she thinks. Of course. Well, look, we we admire Taylor Swift's music, but I don't think most Americans, whether they like her music or fans of hers or not, are going to be influenced by a billionaire celebrity who I think is fundamentally disconnected from the interests uh, and, and and the problems of most Americans. Look, when grocery prices go up by 20 percent, it hurts most Americans. It doesn't hurt Taylor Swift. When housing prices become unaffordable, it doesn't affect Taylor Swift or any other billionaire. It does affect middle class Americans all over our country. And so I think our pitch to women voters is very simple. Donald Trump delivered policies that lowered the prices of groceries, lower the prices of housing, and most importantly, Donald Trump delivered public safety in our country. Now, I've got three little kids. I want my kids to grow up in a country where it, the neighborhoods are safe enough, the streets are safe enough for them to make mistakes and not have it take their life. You've got little kids who are doing drugs laced with fentanyl. 20 years ago, you smoke a joint, you get yelled at by your parents. Today, you smoke a joint, it's laced with fentanyl, and it might take a teenager's life. I don't want that for my family. I don't think most women want that for their neighborhoods and their families. And our argument is, elect Donald Trump will redeliver the public safety that's been so lacking in this country the last three years. When Vance points out that food prices have risen by 20%, he's critiquing economic inequality and the disconnect between the political elite and the everyday American. In contrast, celebrities like Taylor Swift seem untouched by these struggles, emphasizing the divide. This highlights the need for leadership that truly grasps and addresses real issues like inflation, housing costs, and the rising cost of living. Vance's mention of Taylor Swift fans lacking resources underscores a conservative critique of the widening gap between cultural elites and regular citizens. By emphasizing this divide, he positions himself and the conservative movement as champions of working-class families, aligning with principles that prioritize economic responsibility and financial feasibility for all. The reference to the childless cat lady serves as criticism of lifestyle choices that stray from traditional family values. This figure represents a cultural shift from family-centered priorities to more individualistic lifestyles, perceived as contrary to the ideals of a responsible, family-focused life. By contrasting this archetype with issues like rising food costs and public safety, Vance suggests that certain segments of society are more preoccupied with cultural fads and celebrity opinions than with urgent economic and social challenges. This critique reflects a broader concern about societal values, implying that misplaced priorities undermine the real struggles of ordinary citizens. Additionally, Vance's comments on public safety and the dangers of fentanyl-laced drugs address a widespread fear about the erosion of safe, stable communities. His focus on these concerns appeals to anxieties surrounding social decline, law and order, and the need to protect families.